part of the continuum presents a series of improbable encounters in the arts. Sorry. <laughs> Drummer Furoan Akloff presents In Remembrance, Piano and Poetry Dialogue by Cecilia Vicuña and Ricardo Ga Gallo. <laughs> It feels very strange to be here, saluting you, Rosa. My heart and my body trembles, remembering the first time I heard your name. It seems to me I knew you even before you existed. I certainly knew you before I knew you. When someone said, you have to meet a young girl called Rosa Alcala, I immediately heard the music of your name, Rosa, Rosa Alcala. Hmm. I definitely want to meet Rosa Alcala. <laughs> it sounded like power itself, and you were just a tiny girl. This person said that you were going to write to me, and you never did. <laughs> so I said, what the heck, I'm going to write to her. And I wrote to her, do you remember that? I remember the other one, but I can't see it. You see? <laughs> we will probably never know. <laughs> Somebody will know after we're dead. In any case, for those who don't know, Rosa is evident what it means. But Alcala, you know what Alcala means? Alcala is a rock that has become a fortress. It's Arabic for Alcala. <laughs> Even the sound tells you, don't come here. <laughs> you know? And so that's Rosa, Alcala. And when the news came to me of this book, of yours, and I started reading it. I think it was yesterday night. I felt you had become yourself. You had become the Alcala. I felt in you before you were you. And so I decided to read something really, really strange, which is this. When I was working in my last book, which is here. <coughs> this baby just came out uh, in Berlin. And it's the story of the red thread. It's the story of my menstruation, which began a few billion years ago, when we were still monkeys. <laughs> and as I meditated, on why is it that this red thread keeps appearing in my life once, again, and again, and again? And for example, Marie Cruz, who is shooting the video right there, was one day in Rio de Janeiro, and she happens to be in a rally. And what does she see in the rally? That different women are covering a red thread, as if they are thinking, of the same red thread. And Mari, who is from Chile, happens to be in Rio and takes these amazing pictures. So there is a running thread uniting all of us. Señoras, mujeres, podridas, fecundas, hediondas, mujeres. And so the surprise came to me when I saw your title. 
my other tongue freely, mother. Mother, we say me. Why? Why, mama? And of course you didn't know that I had in this book a poem. Which I composed, I don't know when, but long ago. And it says, the mm, other is dark matter, the invisible universe, mm, all the life is there on all the the answer is yes there is my all the um, and this book You hate it for good reason. First of all, it's a rotten poem. Second of all, it's un poema muy mal. Horrorosamente mal. Malo, 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 malo. Pero entonces, what happens with this poem is also duty translated. So, Cecilia sometimes, when Cecilia is um, wanting to have a poem in English, and of course I don't read English, much less write it in English. And also it's too busy to translate, which is often the case. I end up translating it myself. And that's where the bad is beginning. It is horrend, horrend, pero lo peor. But what happens with this is that it will not make any sense to you at all. But if I tell you the story behind it, maybe you will dream at some point of this poem. ago, maybe 30, 40 years ago, I was visiting an exhibition in New York. It was about the women weavers and potters of the Shipibo Conigo, a culture of the upper Amazon of Peru. This is a matrilineal indigenous culture of the Amazon where the women are the masters. They are the dreamers, they are the artists. It's a matrilineal society. And they have a supreme form of art where two women begin to construct a pot, a ceramic pot that is so big that let's say if Rosa and I were doing this pot together, the pot becomes so big that I don't see her anymore. And that's the whole point. So Rosa begins to paint the pot on her side and I begin on my side. And we never discuss what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> she doesn't say a word, nor do I. She begins on one side, and I begin on the other. And the whole point of the art of these women is that their thoughts have to become entwined and woven together in such a form that they will be creating a music, a music of forms, and when it works, these invisible grounds, these invisible shapes manifest and heal not only the women, heal the community, heal the entire cosmos. So this is a poem I composed for Rosa maybe 20 years ago, and this poem has come true with the mother Ahora a sufrir el poema. Entonces dice, 
es que no está en inglés, es half English, half Spanish, half shipping. Y comienza con una línea de Federico García Lorca. Un dos ojos ya, she adored Lorca. And then everybody told her that's passé, so she didn't love Lorca anymore. <laughs> Esta es la línea de Lorca, dice. Y las dos eran ninguna. And both of them are not. Could that be the right translation? Perhaps not. And then Jan Hume Pike says, I don't make art. I make myself. Like a church, for example. 
And so in this kind of church, we're going to break down hell, okay? <laughs> <laughs>